We've placed the slab. The material is ready. Now we're ready to put down the forms. Start at one of the corners using either a left or right corner form. The pressure of the fluid concrete will generate the greatest forces at the corner form, so it is a good practice to wire the corner form to the two adjacent form units. Run a tie wire between the webs of the two forms. Pass a nail through the tie wire and twist it until the wire tightens enough to create a slight bow in the webs. An alternative method is to screw 1x3s onto the outside bottom webs of the corner form and the adjacent forms so that the forms are held together. Continue placing the forms of the first course until you are almost at the next corner pin. At this point, place the appropriate corner form and trim the last standard form to fit the space. Cut the form squarely across the nearest preformed groove. That way you are sure that the cut will be vertical and that the forms will interlock properly with the next course. Another nice thing about this method is that it is guaranteed to produce walls that are within a half an inch of the specified length. If the cut location results in more than three foam bars extending past the web, you will have to provide additional support. Do this by screwing a piece of 1x3 to the webs on either side of the joint on both sides of the forms. Save the cutoff pieces whenever you trim a form. Another benefit of the ARC system is its low waste factor. We can walk in this building right here and you can see the waste off of this 24 by 60 and we're probably 12 and a half feet tall. Uh, the waste we could put in a couple of garbage bags. Once the first course is in place, you are ready to install the horizontal rebar. The ARC's web design allows for a variety of rebar positions, so be sure to place the rebar into the correct notches of the webs as specified by the designer. Depending on local building codes, you can splice rebar using either a non-contact lap splice, where the bars can be separated up to one-fifth the lap length to a maximum of six inches, or a contact lap splice where the bars are wired together. In both cases, a typical overlap is 40 times the rebar diameter. Now you are ready to lay the second course. Go back to the corner where you started and install a corner form with the opposite orientation from the one you used earlier. Notice that the furring strips automatically line up. Continue laying the forms in a running bond pattern, being sure to maintain a minimum 8-inch offset between the vertical joints. As you go along, hit the top of each form firmly with the palm of your hand to seat the interlock with the forms below. Once the second course is in place, it's time to install more horizontal rebar. Install the second course rebar so that it is offset one notch from the rebar on the first course. That way, when you install the vertical rebar, you can simply weave it through the horizontal rebar courses so that it is held securely in the specified location. After the second course rebar is in place, we recommend you install one course of block lock firmly on top of the webs. Notice how the installer places the block lock so that the weld points are aligned with the webs. We also recommend you install block lock every fourth or fifth course after the second course and in the courses below and above openings. Now that the first two courses are in place, it is time to check that the forms are level. Shim or trim the bottoms of the first course forms to accommodate any footing irregularities. Before we conclude this section, let's take a moment to review the points we have just covered. Start laying the forms at a corner. Cut forms on the lines to maintain interlock. Place rebar as per specifications. Install block lock in the second course. Level the forms after the second course. When we come back, we'll look at window and door bucks. Uh, ARCS is a benefit um, 
to us, particularly in the healthcare field, where we try to personalize the healthcare uh, aesthetic so that your uh, the individual rooms are recognizable, and that really drives us towards a punched window type of uh, facade. And that punched window, uh, which is essentially an opening in the wall rather than a strip of glass, uh, is easily accomplished within the arc system.